We recently had a slow, grey, misty day in St. Ives, followed by one filled with bright, beautiful sunshine. Both days were freezing cold, and both days were at the start of a new national lockdown here in England. You can leave your house for exercise and to go to the shops. I guessed that it wouldn't hurt to take my camera with me as I walked around town. The photos here are all taken with my Fujifilm Instax Square 6 camera that I bought in Spain nearly a year ago. In the past week or so, several people have left comments on my review of that camera and it inspired me to take it out once again. In Spain I just used the Instax color film, so for these I thought I'd mostly experiment with Instax monochrome. The single pack of color film I used here might as well have been black and white. The foggy day was so grey that the color pictures leave only a subtle warm glow to the scenes. The overall look of the pictures is distant, faint and quite imprecise. It couldn't be further from the vibrant colours that I photographed in the Spanish sun. Sometimes I love that washed, minimalist look, but sometimes I feel greedy and want a picture I can actually see things in. The monochrome pictures especially feel like etchings or brass rubbings. The lines and shapes in the photographs are strong but they lack detail. It kind of captures the feel of everything quite perfectly. I'm still getting used to the metering though. If there's sky, even an overcast one, taking up much of the frame, the camera compensates and sinks the subject into darkness. For this simple street scene, I adjusted the exposure the following day by using the lighten mode on the camera, and it's improved it considerably. I am happy to embrace the mistakes though. These have all rarely turned out quite how I wanted them. The results are all a vague mix of my intention, the impreciseness of the camera and film, along with a good shot of chance. I think I'll put the Instax camera away until the sun comes out again. Thank you all for watching, for thumbs upping and for subscribing. If you have any questions or thoughts, do put them in the comments. Thanks again everyone.